James wants to say this particular gin, it is a southwestern style gin called Ginebra. You know, this is from the producer in Algodones, New Mexico, called Algodones Distillery. Stay tuned. I love gin and I never get enough of it. And for me, it's just that harkens back to some very lyrical and haunting notes. Really, the juniper is king here. Uh, juniper um, is really that center point. Um, when you think of gin, it means Genevieve. Genevieve is really going back to the root word of meaning that it's a juniper uh, characterization. So the juniper berry is king here in order to be gin. So here's what we have. Uh, so I think I paid $28 in Albuquerque on this. So Algodonas Distillery Ginebra Southwestern Dry Gin, 40% ABV. So Algodonas is between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. It's actually slightly closer to Albuquerque than Santa Fe. That's about one third the way from Albuquerque and uh, two thirds away from Santa Fe. Back label, so you can look at here. It says from the Bosque to the high desert comes the clean, crisp uh, taste of juniper, pinon, and local botanicals masterfully blended and distilled into the spirit of New Mexico. What is successful about this gin is it's not trying to be a London dry gin. It's not trying to be an old Tom gin. It is a unique style and signature. And another New Mexico gin is from the producer Santa Fe Spirits, uh, Wheeler's Western Dry Gin. And really that characteristic is gonna get back to that centering of juniper. But it gets back to the centering. So Western style is really, I think that same uh, you know, um, nomenclature of Southwestern as well. And so they're going to match and marry very, very distinctly and uniquely together. Now, I think this is a really handsome, gorgeous gin. So the fruit in question, uh, I think it's key to both of these gins, is the prickly pear fruit itself. So the prickly pear fruit is really influential here. You know, it doesn't say on the back that that's exactly what's utilized, but I think it is. It uh, gives a very clean, almost cucumber-like characterization on this. They talk about pine, and what they mean is not pine as a retzina, uh, say as a Greek wine, but coming down to a distilled spirit that's getting a characterization of freshly roasted pine nut. That is the key difference here. And I really like it that it's different. I don't want it to be like a gin that's coming from Portland or New York or London or Scotland or wherever it might be coming from. I really wanted to think of the praises of the land it's coming from because there's always something unique that comes from that place and combined together creates a really beautiful characterization. So on this, uh, first of all, 93 points out of 100 points. So what I like about the scent characterization, and I'll talk about this in, in terms of um, freshly forged pine nut or pino nut that you might call that in New Mexico, but you also, when you roast them and you shell them, they have a very almost green characterization, uh, but also a very earthen and sweet characterization. They're absolutely beautiful and harmonious and it goes well with this. So that's one of the keynotes I'm getting out of here as well as cinnamon, a bit of prickly pear cactus fruit, as well as uh, you know a bit of cinnamon and um, uh, cardamom and anise as well. That's the flavor profile. Really the harmonious notes here and I would even say there's a chili note going on here. So not necessarily just a black pepper note, but maybe a um, Anaheim pepper or New Mexico pepper note. In addition to that, I'm getting notes of, again, that freshly um, just shelled, just uh, roasted pine nut, that sweet characterization, a bit of beeswax, which I find to be absolutely fun and fantastic and curious, as well as um, you know getting back to those harmonious notes of uh, the cinnamon, the, the sweet uh, spices, cinnamon, cardamom, Thank you again for watching. 93 points out of 100 points. I'll put more information on the producer down below. If you like pine nuts, uh, pinoli, or pinon, you'll really like this gin. Thank you again for watching. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WordPress, and LinkedIn. Uh, subscribe button's right up here, so please hit that button if you haven't done this already. Questions and comments down below. And again, more information on the producer down below. And you can also leave them on the social medias that I'm on. So thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.